Yo, what's up, people? My name is Jack Aritz, Jack Co. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, the topic is the best video editing software slash video editor of 2017. Basically, I have picked my three personal favorites, and uh, if you are a video editing veteran just trying to see someone else's opinion, um, then I think you'll definitely agree with me. And if you're a video editing beginner that doesn't really know too much about uh, what program to pick and you're trying to just basically get um, your kind of introduction to this whole area and this community, then um, I really hope I can help you pick your video editor. So without further ado, let's jump in. Now the three of these are personally what I think are the best three video editors available to your average Joe like you and I. And if your video editing tasks consist of editing YouTube videos, doing maybe school projects, music videos, skits, really anything, then these video editors are going to be good for you. But hold on, it's really hot in my room and I really need to open a window. All right, boom. <laughs> Yes, so jumping into number three is Sony Vegas. Now, this is the only one of my actual three that is not available on Mac. So, yes, number three is actually only available on Windows. But don't worry, Sony Vegas doesn't really offer any exclusive features that you're going to be missing out on if you are on Mac. It is a generic video editor, and the thing I really like about Sony Vegas, though, is that for me, I always describe it as advanced Windows Live Movie Maker. And <laughs> the reason I say that is because Windows Live Movie Maker, I'm sure you know, it's it's terrible. It's, it's absolutely crap. But it is like the just generic video editor that Windows kind of gives you when you get a new PC or when you install Windows or whatever. And like I said, it's garbage, but it's extremely, extremely simple. Now you get Sony Vegas, and personally, I think Sony Vegas is quite similar to um, Windows Live Movie Maker, just in its simplicity factor, the fact that the whole layout is really simple. You know what I mean? To cut something, it's not some extravagant shortcut. It's literally S, just the S key to split the clip. Very, very basic video editor. This is 100% what I would recommend to anyone who doesn't have a video uh, editor yet, but also is only on Windows. Like I said, that's, that's pretty much the number one downside. But overall, Sony Vegas is a great introductory video editor, or again, if you're a YouTuber, it's a nice, simple video editor to just cut stuff, splice stuff, put different images and graphics on it. Um, of course, you can do your whole soundscaping where you can put loads of sound effects, music, and overall, it's really, really easy to piece together a project. Personally, I used to make gaming videos here on this channel until I kind of took a little bit of a break and then came back with a whole different type of content. When I was making games, videos I would uh, a lot of the time have subtitles and stuff like that coming up on the screen and I edited all of these videos in Sony Vegas Sony Vegas did me great for years and even now for some simpler video editing projects I still use Sony Vegas so definitely a great number three on our video editing list moving on to number two number two is Premiere Pro. Now, Premiere Pro has rapidly grown in popularity. Pretty much anyone on a Mac that is editing is using Premiere Pro for some part of their project. Um, I did. You see my face just there, a little bit sad. <laughs> Personally, I don't really, I, 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 I just haven't really gotten into Premiere Pro and you're wondering why, why have you put it in your list then? Because it is very, very good, extremely easy and I would say it is probably the Sony Vegas of Adobe programs. Very, very simple to actually use. If you're a new user, you're not going to be really confused by it and um, if you are a little bit confused, look at a tutorial or something and you will be snapping into it, you'll fully understand what's going on and I'm sure you'll be able to edit at a good, good pace and at a good quality level but like I said Premiere Pro is like the Sony Vegas of Adobe programs as it's extremely simple and um, you can actually get Premiere Pro for both Windows and Mac so whichever operating system you're on don't worry you will be able to use Premiere Pro like I said really really easy to navigate layout pretty easy to pick up the basics of this program and overall you are not limited at all Inside this program, you're going to do pretty much everything you'll be able to do in, um, for example, After Effects, which is a little bit more of an advanced video editor, which is actually funny enough. Our number three. Oh, it's so hot in my f***ing house. It's actually so hot in here, man. Seriously. I'm, so, I'm sorry, sorry about swearing. I'll bleep that out, but it's hot. Another cool thing about Sony Vegas, you don't actually have to spend loads of time importing all your clips. In fact, you just go ahead and locate the actual destination of your clips and they will be there really easily available for you to use, drag and drop, and overall edit and alter. Moving on to number one, which is After Effects. I'm pretty sure I said number three earlier. I got confused because it's the third one I'm talking about, but it's like counting down. You know, I mean, Sony Vegas was three, Premiere was two, After Effects is one. 
And uh, the reason it's one is because this is this is kind of just personal preference. I'm not gonna lie. Some people watching this video might actually be saying Premiere is better because of the simplicity factor. But overall, I prefer After Effects because, in my opinion, you have the most control over your project. But keep in mind, this might actually just be my personal preference. But overall, After Effects is an amazing video editor. There's um, pretty much short of nothing that you can't be doing in terms of altering and messing around with your visuals. Amazing for music videos, really, really great for proper, um, like, real kind of uh, motion effects and, and stuff like that. You can edit absolutely anything in After Effects, uh, whether it's really simple or quite advanced. However, depending on your specs of your actual computer that you're working with, that would kind of determine whether I would think you should use After Effects or maybe Premiere or Sony Vegas, being that Premiere and Sony Vegas automatically render your video. If you click play to see how your edit's looking, it's gonna play the video. However, After Effects, because it requires so much uh, RAM and so many other things to actually keep this kind of beast program actually running to its full capability, unfortunately you do have to pre-render your stuff, meaning that, say I've just done a little bit of editing, you will actually have to click a button to load that section and then you'll be able to watch it back. So depending on your specs will depend how fast you're able to edit on this and if the pre-render thing actually starts being a bit of an annoyance to you and slowing down your project. But overall, a quick video talking and discussing the best video editing software of 2017 or best video editing software slash video editor of 2017. Gotta, gotta include that slash video editor. But overall, thank you guys for watching the video. The support has been great recently. We've got a series going that a lot of people are definitely enjoying, which is the How to Make Money Video Editing Series. Um, I've got two videos up already on that series, another one coming in a couple days. And there's also one that's kind of like part of that series, and that's called How to Make Money as a Videographer. So if you enjoyed this video about the best video editors, then you might actually enjoy taking your video editing skills and making a little bit of extra money each month through those other videos that I've put up. But overall, thanks for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate you if you made it all the way to the end. Have a nice day, and goodbye.